Hello and welcome to creating a retro illustration in Adobe Illustrator. My name is Ivana Shopov and this is chapter 2 in which we'll tackle the sketching part of the process and we are now on lesson 2.1, Photoshop versus Illustrator. In this lesson, I'll present a short comparison of the sketching process in both programs. This is because in the next lesson, you will see me sketching the concept for the illustration in Photoshop and you might wonder why, since we're going to render the final illustration in Illustrator anyway. And the reason for that is that I find Photoshop's tools better suited to freehand messy sketching. But that of course is a personal preference in my workflow and it's not impossible to sketch your illustration directly within Illustrator. So I'm going to show you both ways of doing things and we're going to start off with sketching out in Photoshop. The first thing that I love about sketching in Photoshop is the huge assortment of brushes both included in the software as well as the ones you can find online for free. Even the default standard brushes are great for drawing and the always use pressure for opacity option on the top options bar is great for quickly altering the opacity options while drawing. I always work with opacity sensitive brushes while sketching because layering lines is an integral part of the process for me. The eraser tool in Photoshop also comes in handy as you can imagine. The eraser tool uses the same brush shapes that you have in your library, which makes it extremely flexible in the ways that you can use it. I also like that you can quickly change the size of your brush by holding down the Alt key and dragging inward or outward while right clicking. This is extremely useful when you can go from line art to filling in areas in the sketch like I did with the hair. You can also quickly alter the size and proportions of your sketch by using the transform tool accessed by hitting Ctrl T on your keyboard. Adding some fast color to your sketch to get an idea of the type of palette you want is also a piece of cake in Photoshop. Just create a new layer underneath your sketch and start filling in colors with the same brush in a larger size. All in all, I can get a sketch of what I want to vectorize really quickly and efficiently while using Photoshop's most basic tools. The con to this approach is the obvious problem with resizing. If I alter the size of my sketch too much, there will be some loss of quality. But by working from the start with a large, high-res format for my sketch, most of that issue can be avoided. Now, in Illustrator, among other things, you have the standard round brush that I for one don't find very good for sketching, as it's sort of too blunt. You can create a calligraphic brush with pressure variation to get a more fluid feel to your brush for sketching. For an A4 sized artboard, I usually choose a 3 point brush with a full 3 point pressure variation. The eraser tool in Illustrator is however not as flexible as its Photoshop counterpart. It will change the width of the stroke when erasing parts of it and sometimes even alter the position of the anchor points. To change the size of the eraser tool, you can press enter while having the tool selected and that will bring up the options menu for the tool. It can be of a fixed width or with pressure variation, but all in all, it is pretty limited. You can give your strokes less opacity from the top options bar in order to use that when overlapping lines, but the effect is nowhere near that of Photoshop's opacity option. Adding colors underneath the sketch can be done on a separate layer using the blob brush tool. This brush tool creates shapes instead of strokes and its size and pressure sensitivity option can be accessed by pressing enter on your keyboard while having the tool selected. You can use it to fill in blobs of color just like its name says. While you can resize this sketch in any way you like, you should expand everything beforehand otherwise the stroke width will remain the same and your lines will appear thinner. All in all, while sketching directly in Illustrator can be done, its tools are not made for it and that becomes very obvious when compared with the ease and flexibility provided by Photoshop. Now that you've seen what sketching in both Photoshop and Illustrator is like, it's up to you to make the choice between the two. In the next lesson, we'll talk about coming up with concepts and the actual sketching process for our retro illustration.